Hello guys, in this video we will build our graphical user interface with custom tkinter to control LED with Arduino. This video is splited into three parts. The first part is about creating the Arduino program. In the second part, we will build the graphical user interface with custom tkinter. In the final part, we will integrate the Paserial library for the communication between the program and Arduino. Let's get started. For the Arduino code, to control LED from computer, we need to use serial communication. Simply, we define the LED, and we initiate the serial communication with a 9600 baud. Serial communication allows us to send and receive the data between the Arduino and computer. We make actions based on the data received from the computer. The type of data transmitted is character. So, the actions are, turn on or off the LED. We need to associate two characters for those two actions. For example, if the Arduino resize the character 1, it turn on the LED, and the character 0 to turn it off. We check if data is available to read with if serial.available is greater than 0. If true we read the incoming byte with serial.read, and we save it in a char variable. For example the variable data. Now if data equal to the character 1, digital write, let high. If data equal to the character 0, digital right, led low. Let's test this out. Connect the LED to the pin 4. Open serial monitor. Make sure that the speed is 9600 baud. LED turns on and off when I send the message 1 or 0 to Arduino. For the graphical user interface, I created a playlist about custom tkinter library. I recommend to watch it. At least the first video about installing the library and the button tutorial. I'll put the link in description. Now, first we create a 300 by 200 window. And two buttons. On and off. And at the end of the video we gonna replace the buttons with a switch. Let's get started. First, create an empty window. Create a frame in the center of the window using Place Geometry Manager. We need it to place the buttons inside it. Create a label that show us the state of the LED, and place it inside the frame using Pack Geometry Manager. After that we create the two buttons inside the frame. Make the foreground color of the frame transparent. After that we define two function named turn on LED and turn off LED. Associate them to the buttons. Use configure method on the label to change the text of the label every time we click the buttons. Now this is our graphical user interface. Now let's see a quick example of how the Pi Serial library works. First install the library with the command pip install Pi Serial in the command prompt. Import it with import serial. Create an instance for Arduino with Arduino equal to serial.serial. .serial. In the argument we have port and baud rate. In port argument, put the port of your Arduino. Open Arduino IDE and you'll find it in the bottom. In the baud rate argument put the same serial communication speed of Arduino. To turn on the LED, we need to send the character 1 to Arduino. Create a variable that contain the character 1, for example data. Actually data is a string variable, but for now we consider like a char variable. Now we send it with arduino.write data.encode. 
import sleep from time to make a delay between initialization of Arduino port and the data to send. After another 3 seconds delay, send the character 0 to turn off the LED. Finally, close the serial communication with Arduino.close. Before executing the code, make sure the serial monitor in the Arduino IDE is closed to avoid any communication issues. After starting serial communication with Arduino, the program waits 3 seconds to ensure that the Arduino is ready to receive data. Now the program sent character 1. As you can see the LED is on. After 3 seconds it sends the character 0, and LED turns off. Finally, the program closes the serial communication. Now, combine this code with the graphical user interface code we created in the previous part. When we press the on and off button, the functions turn on LED, and turn off LED are called. So first import the Pi serial library and create the instance of Arduino. Next put the instruction that sends character 1 in the function turn on LED, to send character 1 to the Arduino every time we press the button. And the same for the character 0 and the off button. After app.mainloop close the serial communication. Let's run the code. Now I can control the LED with my graphical user interface. Let's put a single switch instead of this buttons. Delete the buttons and create a switch. Now, to control the LED with the switch, we need to create another function that inside it, we get the state of the switch with switch.get. If switch.get equal to 1, then, call the function turn on LED. Else, call the function turn off LED. The checkboxes and switches tutorial is in the description. Add this function to the argument command of the switch to call the function every time we change the state of the switch. Run the code. Change the text of the switch to switch. Now we have a better view of our graphical user interface. If you'd like me to continue this video series on creating graphical user interfaces and controlling Arduino and other devices, let me know in the comments section. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more content like this.